Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me for another update. Uh, this week we're actually going to be talking about something that I want your feedback on. Um, but before we get into that, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, thank you all very much for your continued support. Um, I'm looking to grow the number of sponsors that I have for um, this month. So if you are on the edge of thinking, well, what is a few dollars? Um, it goes a long way. Honestly, you get 10 people in a room chipping in a dollar each and it, and it, and it mounts up. Um, so please do uh, come join, join us and I'll be able to spend some more time on Inkscape each week. Okay, so let's get into the actual... Uh, meat and potatoes of what, what's going on. This week I have been basically fixing and uh, smoothing and um, making good all of the previous work that I've been do doing, basically fixing some pro problems that have cropped up uh, and making sure that the merges that have been pe pending are sort of they're making their way into Inkscape themselves. Um, but that means I don't actually have a great deal to show, show you. A lot of what I fixed is just boring code stuff. Um, and rather than make this into a, uh, hey, here is some cool code um, uh, episode, uh, which I have done in the past. Apologies to anybody that's watched all, all of those. Uh, I figured that what I did is I'd come to you with an idea. And um, what I want you to do is to is to join in the conversation, comment below, in, in either in the video, on the tweets, or what have you, and tell me whether this is a good idea whether it's something that we should do uh, in certain ways, uh, whether it should be done, but in a different way design-wise. Um, because, you know, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of work if it's not actually going to be uh, productive. So the idea is, uh, you know that the welcome screen that I made last year, yeah, last year, no, year before last, it's been there for, for a while now, uh, it contains three tabs, right? First tab you configure stuff. The second tab we invite you to be to participate in the community, and the third tab is your landing page where you open documents and things. The idea is to create a fourth tab. Now the fourth tab isn't a tab that you end up on uh, every single time you open Inkscape. It's just sort of the afterwards, and it would be something like learning, or uh, how to learn, and it would be a library of resources that would be available by default, uh, showing you. Uh, the existing uh, um, tutorials that are already built into Inkscape, but uh, the vast majority of people miss because they, they don't know that they're in, they're in the help menu. Um, it would contain links to our online tutorials where we have things like keyboard shortcuts, um, a beautiful tutorial, you know, explaining things. And then uh, also search and links to popular vetted, I would say, uh, video tutorials. So I know there's a few video tutorial pe people who watch my update videos. So you guys can, you should, you guys should uh, comment about how this, how you would feel about this. The idea would be is that um, people like Logos by Nick or Adam Bellis or um, you know very many of the of the people that already create many tutorials would uh, publish their tutorials on the Inkscape website uh, gallery pages as they currently do, and then Inkscape itself would search our website for videos, right? The reason why we would search our website rather than, say, for instance, uh, YouTube directly is, firstly, we want to open it up so that if you publish a video in, on some other platform like Peertube um, or Vimeo, I don't know, um, the, you, your, your search results would still be there. Second of all, we want some kind of vetting so you can't just create a tutorial that's like, hey, here's how to draw a shape and also, why don't you join my, my NFT scam? Um, so the, the, we want to make it so that you can actually have, uh, you know, some sort of, uh, community control, right? So it wouldn't be programmers deciding which tu tutorials, but it would be something that the community would have the ability to decide, okay, these sets of tutorials are good. These ones are bad. Um, we'd also want the ability to publish them in multiple lang languages as well. So, you know, we, we definitely want to be able to look at, at you know, Espanol or Japanese or um, lots of other lang languages, and those should be reflective in the results too. We don't just want like an English-only situation. Um, so 
that's kind of the idea, right? So you have a tab in the welcome screen, which makes it very obvious when you starting skip for the first time that there are learning resources available. Uh, I put some extra buttons in the bottom with some tool, tool tips that link to the chat room and the forums so that you can actually engage in, in the community and ask quest questions as well. I don't know how wise that is. I think it's good. Don't want to really be a gatekeeper and say that like only if you have the tenacity to navigate the Inkscape website should you be allowed to ask questions in, in, in the chat room. Uh, and then there's just the whole like facility of making some beautiful icons and some beautiful ways of showing um, our, you know, what, there's many, many community mem members out there who are not a part of the Inkscape community as a, as a, as a core, but are definitely contributing to the Inkscape pro project by creating such beautiful tutorials, uh, whether video or textual or uh, I presume there's podcast. No, there's probably not a podcast. That's silly. Okay. So that's that's the idea. Uh, there's not a lot to go into further uh, because I haven't really developed anything more than the um, basic design I've put together here. It doesn't have to look like that. If you have ideas of your own and you feel like, oh, if I could just get into the design, rip through it. Da download the little uh, picture of the of what I'm showing you and just yeah, tell me what you've what 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 you've got. Um, that's about it for this week. Uh, I was going to go into other things that have happened in Inkscape, but there's not a lot of merge requests that have happened this week. Uh, people are just click cleaning things up um, and investigating new ideas for, for designs. I know Habir has been working very, very hard on making uh, live path effects more uh, easier to easier to use by, by cleaning up all of the widgets and things. Um, but that, that hasn't merged yet, so um, that's about it. Thank, thank you again, and I will see, see you all next week.